Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome to another episode of Franchise Hockey Manager 3 as the Sparta Sopsberg Warriors in Norway. So, forgot to uh, record a couple episodes the last couple days, so I'm actually recording this on the day it's going out. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's going to be on a midnight. Um, yeah, I've been a little lackadaisical the last couple of days with my recordings. I was sick, as you can tell, feeling a little bit better. Um, I'm on the drugs. I'm on the drugs. So, anyways, here we go. So we're four, five, and one. We're going up against the uh, the Oilers, which are seven, two, and one. They're first overall in the league. We're sixth. So we're two points uh, ahead of or in a playoff spot right now, which is pretty good. Uh, three points yet again for a win. If we win this game, that puts us at 5-5-1. Five, five, and one. So in my eyes, really, really, really good so far for this season. Um, also, three points will put us at 16 points, which will give us hopefully another buffer between these guys. Hell, because we're playing, again, we're playing Little Hammer next on, uh, on the 18th. So we got a three-day break. I will admit, one of the things I don't like about this league is the fact that we get so many days off. So here we go. We have the coaching advantage. See how this works out. My monitor's kind of turned a little bit here. Let's fix that monitor. There we go. So first period's done. We're out shooting them 11-7. to seven, Which is pretty good, actually. Um... Wow, I'm actually quite impressed. They haven't scored a goal yet. Neither have we. We'll see how this goes. Uh, I believe... Yeah, Lindgren is... Yeah, our good goalie's in that. Okay. Come on, guys. Pop one in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Are we going to go another period? Yes! There we go. There we go. One nothing for us. Look at that. 23 shots versus 14. We're out shooting them. So we have almost twice as many shots as they do. Almost. Not quite. But we're also winning one nothing. Uh, I think this says they have the tactical advantage, I think. Or we do because it's around us. Oh my god. Okay. Um so the first shot they took in the third period scored. Uh it was it took 16 seconds, which means they very much won the face off and brought it in and scored. Come on, guys, don't let that get to you. Come on. We got the momentum. Come on. Ah. Uh, come on. Come on. Oh, Shiza. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Kitchen up in shots. Ah, they won 3 2. Uh, we had them. We had them on the ropes, guys. We had them on the ropes. What? Well, we're going to go to the next game. I don't know what's going on with these guys. Fortunately, we're not allowed trading, which is a bit of a. Bit of a pain in the butt in this league. Overall, Malstrom is still ninth in scoring. Uh, the guys we just played against the Oilers have a guy in fourth and fifth. The Dragons have someone in second, third, and seventh. Holy crap. There's some bigger like, season scores there. Lots to worried about those. Maybe we're in the next game here. Not to worry about other of those games or other of those. Whoops. Delete all messages. Yes. So we're in seventh, so we're still we're still in a playoff spot, which is no big deal. Well, the problem here is that if Lillehammer, say if, if Valriga, if they're playing today. Uh, they're playing on the 18th, yep, against the 
the knights. Okay, so basically this is the day of the, the bottom four. So theoretically here, if we lose our game, we will actually drop down to ninth, theoretically, because if Val Riga wins and Little Hammer wins, they both go to 14 points and we go, say, at 13, which means we go to ninth, which means we're not in a playoff spot. Which, I mean, is temporary, but I don't like not being in one. It's not something that I'm too impressed with. So, on the bright side, our season record is 1-0 with them. So, here goes. We're 4-6-1, and one, and they are 4-7-0. and oh. All right, so we want to see lots of goal scoring and lots of stuff on the right side of the ice here. They have apparently the coaching advantage for the moment. Um, or not for the moment, for the game. Tactical advantage is theirs. And they scored on their first shot. Okay. Or second shot. Four shots. We're going to outshot quite a bit here. And more of these scores for them. We're getting a shot almost two to one at this point. It looks like we're gonna lose here. It's four one. Five one. If it hits six one, I'm just gonna sim right to the end of the period right to the end of the game. Hey, we got a goal. Come on, guys. There we go. That's three. Come on. One more. That's four. Come on. Ah. They got so close. We got within one. We got within one there. Oh. So, our big thing here is the other teams are getting way, way too many shots on us. Like, just, just a ridiculous amount of shots. And I think this is more a, a symptom of the league, because I've noticed that if we outshoot the, the other guy, usually we're outshooting them by a, a good margin. Uh, Matt Wahlberg is currently out. Oh, crap. I'll send you the injury list. List your day to day. Diverticulitis? Colitis? I have no idea what that is. I am so Googling that. D I V E R T I C U L I T I S. Diverticulitis are small bulging pouches that can form in the lining of the digestive system. They're found more often in the lower part of the large intestine. Uh, people that are usually the age of 40. Sometimes one of the pouches become inflamed or impacted. So basically it's a stomach infection. How old is this guy? He's 27. He got a disease that people in their 40s get. Dude's stomach basically is infected. Okay. Well, let's play the next game. We're going to play against Coin Vigor, who is last place. So, worst case scenario, if we lose this, they're at nine points and we're at 13. So, this will be the last game of, of today's episode. Okay. So here we go. They have the coaching advantage. And another team has a tactical advantage. And they're up one nothing. Wow. Oh, there we go. Tied 1-1. One, one. So at the end of the first period, shots are almost even. It's 14-10. Uh, and it's one all. It's really good. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, halfway through the period. 
Come on. Ah. Uh, next period. Are we going to go into overtime? No, because we're going to score. Come on. Two, one. We're going to overtime. Come on. Overtime is over. Okay. I have no idea what just happened. Oh, we went into a shootout, and it just simmed the entire shootout in like a couple seconds. And we lost, 2-1. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, it could be worse, right? It, I mean... Since we won, or since, since we went into overtime, we still get this one point. So, I think that puts us to 14 points, I believe. Let's go home here. 14 points. And the next game is going to be against Valoriga IF, which is in seventh place. Which is no big deal because we want to go after 8th place at this point. A um, couple things we're going to be doing. Obviously this year is still our first year of evaluation. And uh, all that stuff. We're definitely going to be looking at maybe getting rid of a few guys here. By the end of the season. I mean if you look at our team. Most of the guys that are playing right now are going to be gone at the end of the year. Except for uh, Yenmark here. Culvestad. Actually, I wonder if I can... Actually, I'm not going to sign them until maybe later in the end of the year. But yeah, and everyone else we're pretty much going to let go. We're short two guys on our active roster right now. All I'm going to say is boo. Boo. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you then. Bye-bye.